Welcome to our first edition of REM 3D Newsletter. For this first edition, we would like to introduce one of the main strengths of our injection molding and polyurethane expansion solution, the remeshing technique. The remeshing in finite element analysis is critical. The mesh drives the simulation because it determines the accuracy of the results, which is how fine the mesh is, and the computation speed. The finer the mesh is, the more accurate the results are, but the slower the computation is as well. It is extremely important to master this remeshing technique in finite element computation to find the right balance between accuracy and computation speed. The good news is that REM 3D does it for you. With more than 30 years in finite elements expertise, Transvalor has become the expert. Today, we want to show the benefits of the AAA remeshing technique. What does the AAA stand for? We call this remeshing technique AAA for automatic, anisotropic, and adaptive. The adaptive feature is crucial because it enables REM 3D to make sure that the solver captures all the phenomena occurring during the injection process or the expansion for the foams. The solver adapts the mesh to the complexity of the cavity and also to local velocity gradient. We will see more details in the next slides. The error estimator scheme is presented here to understand how REM 3D deals with the adaptation of the mesh automatically. Now, let's review these features in more details. First, the automatic part of the AAA remeshing technique. It is quite easy to understand this concept, but it is very important to understand what it means for a user on a day-to-day -day basis. With the automatic feature, the user does not need to take care of the initial mesh. The video shows how the user uploads the initial geometry issued from the CAD software. Many formats are supported such as STEP, STL, and Parasolid, to mention only few of them. Here we load a STL file. Once loaded, the user only needs to generate an initial mesh by a simple click using the default parameters. This step enables REM 3D to refine the initial definition of the cavity. Once done, the user generates the volume needed for the finite element computation. Once again, only one click is needed here, and the preprocessor does it for you. Now that we have seen the automatic part of the AAA remeshing, let's focus on the anisotropic part of it. The anisotropic mesh is what makes the balance accuracy versus computation speed so powerful. To put it in a simple way, when velocity gradients sicker, they have a particular direction. If the mesh can be very fine in this particular direction, then we will make sure we capture the physical phenomenon accordingly. However, in the other directions, we do not need that many elements, since almost nothing happens. That is what anisotropy does to the remeshing. It makes sure we capture the right physical phenomenon with the lowest number of mesh elements possible. It reduces the computation time and increases the accuracy of the results. The adaptive feature, as mentioned earlier, is the crucial part of the AAA remeshing technique we have seen that the anisotropy was essential to get the right balance between accuracy and computation speed, but for that to take place, we need to identify the locations where these events take place. That is what the adaptive feature does. Thanks to its error estimator presented earlier, the adaptive feature locates where the physical phenomena take place so that the REM 3D solver can decide where to refine the mesh in order to capture every physical phenomenon accordingly. You can see the effect of it on this simple example. We now want to show several examples 
where you can clearly see the impact of the AAA remeshing technique. Here is the injection of a helmet support. The first video shows the melt progression through the mold cavity. We have set the melt in solid blue and the cavity in transparent. The second video shows how the mesh reacts throughout the filling process. You can clearly see that the solver remeshes continuously and also how the mesh adapts to the flow front and other velocity gradients. The AAA remeshing technique offers by default three levels of refinement, coarse, medium, and fine. The user can of course set its custom refinement when she or he has acquired a little more experience with the remeshing technique. This video shows the difference between the same part computed without the AAA remeshing at the top left, the coarse refinement at the top right, the medium at the bottom left, and the fine refinement at the bottom right. Of course, the refinement level has an impact on the computation time, and a multi-step analysis is usually recommended. That is, a first quick analysis with the coarse mesh, and if the user sees some potential defects, and wants to confirm them, then runs an analysis with a finer refinement. It is important to notice that the multiple run takes no time in preparation, since it requires a copy-paste only for a total of less than one minute to make the change. In this video, we focus on the difference between the no remeshing technique and the AAA remeshing technique. You can clearly see the advantage of this technique to capture the proper results and get accurate results of your process. As said at the beginning of this newsletter, the remeshing drives all the results you will get from your simulation. One application is the fibers orientation prediction. REM3D has a unique feature to clearly and quickly assess the fibers orientation in your final part. We will dedicate our next newsletter to this topic, so stay tuned. That is all for today. I hope you have enjoyed this newsletter. Please feel free to contact us if you have any question or comment. You can contact Nicholas Poulain at nicholas.poulain at transvalorimericas.com. We will see you pretty soon with our next REM 3rd newsletter for some other exciting videos. Have a nice day.